Right, we're talking about the gold miners here on Hot Stocks, and it's been going rather badly in the sense of lots of not hots, although we were hot, Gerbrand was at least, on the Anglo Gold Ashanti. Next on our list is Harmony Gold. Assets that are in the Free State and Pumalanga, Gauteng, and Northwest provinces. Some of the more marginal operations, it must be said, in the South African context. It also has an important asset out in Papua New Guinea, which is kind of an undeveloped gold and copper deposit there, which apparently is worth an absolute fortune. The question is whether it's developable at the current gold price. The market cap has slumped, I said this earlier, to 5.4 billion rand. That's astonishing. That makes it smaller than some companies that sell ice creams and corner store furniture and that sort of thing, but we won't worry about that. Not currently profitable, it goes without saying, and definitely not paying dividends, and about to be without a CEO, labor difficulty at some of its operations, uh, deep mines, unsafe working environment, a world of trouble. Yeah, look, I think if you take them from a uh, geographical uh, split up, the, the production assets are, are I think, 95% just local South African. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, the concern for, for all investors out there. And they certainly way down there on the cost curve of producing. What is um, their all-in I think they're about 1,300 all-in cash um, mm. uh, ounce. So that's certainly difficult for them. And they're far out of making money uh, in a long time. But the question is, where will they get the money if they actually do want to develop the Papua New Guinea asset? Yes, um, so just tell me about that. So is that, it's a very nice looking deposit and in a different gold price scenario environment you would be able to rush in there and build a big mine and have a big world class operation. But currently? Yeah, that's the problem. The infrastructure is not not um, adequate there and, mm. and at the moment it's very expensive to do it and they need a lot of cash to actually yeah. develop that specific mine. They got a JV there, I think, with Newcrest Mining, yes. a 50-50% partnership. And I think Newcrest would be able to come up with the money to actually develop mm. that specific ore body, but I don't know how Harmony will do it. Uh, they at one stage had a plan of, of actually listing it separately okay. uh, and, and at one stage they also looked at rights issuing but I mean at the share price of 10 rand uh, a share it's certainly looking very difficult yeah. to do a rights issue uh, to actually be to the benefit of shareholders. So the balance sheet is stressed operationally <coughs> they're not in a great position uh, short of the gold price going up it's hard to imagine how these guys are going to manage to stumble ahead yeah of course, they could shut down more operations, they could cherry pick the remaining assets, but it's always difficult to know when or how to do that. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the big problem, that, that's, and they're now yeah. sitting with uh, Graham Briggs that uh, uh, resigned recently, yep. I think a week back or two weeks back, so that's certainly not in their favour. And I think yeah. he also was struggling to get a, a solution uh, to the Papua New Guinea assets. Mm. But interesting enough, if you would have taken that three or four years back and you would have sold that asset, oh, I think you would have had 100 rand a share for how many shells. Yeah, so I they're sitting that. with a tenth of that and they're still sitting with the asset. I guess hindsight is a perfect size. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> as far as it goes now, not hot, more trouble than opportunity here? Yeah, I think they certainly mm. need to sort that out. But you certainly need some cash flow uh, and decent operating uh, yeah. facilities, and they're not having it at the moment. Right, so we're going to avoid that. 